Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I would like to show you something about a new feature which is about organizations which will make deployment of devices and working with multiple workspaces more easy for you. So on the sidebar you can see that we have grouped the available options into groups and there's organization, account, support information in here and this is all the workspace related things. You probably also know that we have a workspace selector and when we switch between these various kinds of workspaces you can see that the sidebar stays more or less the same but you see the organization settings in here as well on this workspace and if we switch back into the other workspace you see it in here as well. Now organization is something that is new to Datacake and this is on the root level of the overall architecture of workspaces, members and so on. Now also the billing has been moved to the root level and this means you have one billing but you can add multiple workspaces into an organization. So when you create a new workspace, let's go into the workspace selector, add a workspace, you now have the option to add this workspace either to your existing billing organization or to create a new organization. I'm going to show you how, what this means. Let's create a new workspace, call this my second workspace and now you have the option to select, create um, a new organization or to select an existing organization. There is already an organization in my account here which is called Air Ventilation Demo but we could also create a new one and this would be named based on the workspace that you create but let's add this to the existing organization that we can that Datacake has found in your organization settings here. Now this workspace has been created we can see that it's here on the list um, of workspaces showing up and if we go into the organization billing settings here under the organization group we can see okay there are now three different kinds of workspaces in this organization. You also see that we now have the package pricing directly available on the platform. And this means that right now it says okay there are currently eight devices at pay as you go and these eight devices come from the base workspace here which is air ventilation demo. Now you have the option to book a package or go ahead and start pay as you go as before using a credit card and simply buy devices. The advantage of this organization and the billing is now that for example also the white label which I set up here is available on the actual organization. This means that even if you change between the different kinds of workspaces you always find the white label here under organization and you can also have multiple white labels per organization. Let's go back, oh, we don't need to switch the workspace. Let's go back into the billing once more. There's another advantage, which is like right now you are on pay as you go, but you could migrate your account to a package. And this would basically add quota of devices to your billing organization, and this can be shared across all workspaces. This means that you can actually buy a larger package and share the quota between workspaces. The same is also valid for SMS credits. Before it was necessary that you top up the credits between or inside separately for each workspace, now you can top up the SMS credits in your in your organization and then actually assign them to the actual workspaces. And they are shared between all of these workspaces. Once you bought a package and add up the quota, you can go into devices, add device, and usual and work with the usual process of adding new devices. And then on the actual plan. Step number four, where you need to choose the payment plan, you can select the organization plan. And if you already have subscribed to an organization plan, then actually this is derived from the quarter of your devices that are available on the plan. If we now go ahead and create a new workspace for a different organization, like my new organization, and instead of adding this to an existing organization, I want to create a new organization at this workspace. And this has now been added to my list of available workspaces in here, but now for my new organization, if we go onto the billing, we can see that there is just one organization in this workspace. So this means you can have multiple organizations under your account and the sidebar helps you managing the organizations based on grouping, based on the grouping of the sidebar. Just to show you once more, we go back into one of the main workspaces where we have the main organization. And in here you can see, okay, this organization has three workspaces. This is the new organization based workflow. And if you, want to work with multiple workspaces, multiple members and devices and share things across workspaces, it makes sense to add all of your workspaces into existing organizations. And now we can see we have two organizations here because we just created a second one. That's it. If you have some questions about the new device, the organization feature, the packaging pricing, please feel free to reach out using the support button here and send us a message. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.